During the summer of 2011, 14 students from Florida Atlantic University studied abroad in Madrid, Spain, taking art-inspired classes through FAU and language and culture courses through Estudio Samperi. What originally was a group of strangers, their experience would soon be transformed into an everlasting bond of friendship and a new place they would soon call home. individual to to every person it is creativity creation is a very ambiguous and broad term hard work creation would be determination putting your own spin on it using um, different combinations maybe you haven't seen before of um, images or thoughts or There are two courses that are taught through the Study Abroad program. The first is an FAU taught course by Dr. Frederick Conrad, and the other is taught through the language school in Madrid, Estudio Samperi. Madrid Creación, originally titled Madrid Capital on the Move, was created by Dr. Frederick Conrad and Rocio Nogales as a way to gather arts inclined students to learn and experience some of the lesser known cultures that Madrid has to offer. So the concept of Madrid Creación is uh, the combining of two words in Spanish, creación, which means creation, and acción, action. And um, in combining those two words, you end up with a third word, reacción, which is what we want to provoke in students through the study of our program. Um, it's not only about coming to a city where you're going to be doing the typical touristy things and come home with a checklist of items. Um, the idea is more to have you live the experience of the city, to read the city. And that involves not only action, but also reaction. Dr. Conrad and I have known each other for a long time, almost for 15 years. And, uh, you know, when he brought his study abroad uh, program here to Madrid and I moved to Madrid, we decided that, you know, it would be good to, to maybe do something together and, and try really and bring that culture of Madrid uh, to life. Uh, and this is how, you know, it all got started. Created alongside Rocio Nogales to be taught at a studio Sampere, Madrid Creación spoke to these 14 students who shared a connection to Madrid. Shireen Mullings attended Dibujo Madrid as much as she could for the duration of her stay. Dibujo Madrid is a gathering place for any level of artist to draw in a large group for fun. Being an artist herself, she instantly connected to the almost infinite amount of street art in Madrid. In Madrid, if you walk down a street, any street, you'll find graffiti all over the walls. You'll find weird little sculptures that are just sitting there for people to enjoy. And I feel like being in Madrid, I've really been opened up to a lot more varieties of, of art, a lot more different features about art that I hadn't been open to before, and that's kind of how I started to feel connected to Madrid, because I can walk around anywhere and feel like the art here is something that really draws people together. Just like for Shireen, Madrid shared another form of street art with Carolina Fernandez, who focused her area of study of Madrid on the street music. Everyone has 
as an artist's mind, it just is um, depends on the mode of art you use. Because I like to draw, whenever I draw something, I just feel this real sort of accomplishment afterwards, and I just think that that's something that goes hand in hand with it bringing joy to others. Madrid in general is a place of confluence and convergences, um, a bridge again between so many cultures. So everybody is welcome in the city, welcome to, uh, to offer to the city and receive from it. So this is kind of what I want to do with students mostly studying in the, in the, in the humanities ranging from, um, from theater to dance, performance, uh, urban planning, communication. Um, and interact, have a chance to interact with people that are doing the same thing or the, the, the ideal prof profession they're contemplating um, that could be here in Madrid. The course Madrid Capital on the Move, now called Madrid Creacion, originally started as a smaller program and expanded into what it is today. What I had in mind um, over the years was to, to take the study abroad experience to a different level, which is not the typical, let's go to a country and be a passive spectator of the culture, but rather to become an active participant in it. So after that, you know, first pilot experience that we had in seeing the results and, and really the impact that the experience had on the students, and really the uh, satisfaction uh, with the students, the artists, and even myself, I was really, really very impressed with how it all worked out. So we, you know, continued to be in touch throughout the year, and then as the, the summer approached, Dr. Conrad gave back, came back to me and he said, hey, what about putting together something bigger, something longer, so that we can do one activity every week of the, of the state. Lots of Madrid's lesser-known treasures are not normally found by the average tourist visiting Spain. Some of Madrid's various forms of free culture are funded by the national banks of Spain, like the Caixa Forum or La Casa Encendida. It's a project-based course. Um, there's no final exam asking students to uh, fill out a, a sheet of data, things like that, or and answer questions. It's more about something they will be creating during their stay, something they will be putting in a portfolio for an application for graduate school, for example, uh, but something constructive, pers personal, and, and that involves not only uh, the multiculturalism of the city they're in, but also all the tools that are out there, um, ranging from you know a good old paint and brush to digital um, digital uh, tools and things. Um, my major in school is urban planning, and so I decided to make my project here um, centered around the urban planning and development of Madrid um, from the 18th century into today, and how it has become the big city that it is. In Madrid. At this time right now, they're still going on protest with the M15. It's um, protest dealing with like the lack of government aid and just the inefficiency of government. So, um, and in this plaza, Plaza Puerta del Sol, um, there are a lot of posters and there were these tents and stuff. So I pretty much documented like the posters and tried to like um, analyze them, their artistic value as much as the political value in them. What stood out to me was the musical aspect of Madrid, and it's kind of like I have a radar for it, it's just everywhere. But then I started to see how it reflects the whole spirit of Madrid and how it's so diverse and it's so um, free-spirited and fun and um, and it's fast-paced and it's always on the move. Being in the city has, has inspired me in, um, in in new ways of looking at the city and development and functionality. Um, for example, the public transportation here is, is way, way um, superior to that in anywhere in the United States. Well, I mean, New York has their taxis and, and their, uh, their metro, but it's not on the same level. The philosophy of the program is really for students to get uh, hands-on and really uh, a direct experience of, of the, the, a city like Madrid, which is very lively in terms of culture. There are plenty of creative people. So yes, while we draw on a, on a very rich tradition and we have one of the most important worldwide cultural organizations and, and the museums, it's also true that there is really a, a bursting art scene and cultural scene. There are people from everywhere and that's also something very important. So the connection is made directly between the student and the creator because it is also our belief that there is a creator in all of us. So really when you have a series of discussions, when you are exposed 
exposed to you know some ideas some practices some processes and also some biographies